welcome back to my channel and I say welcome back because I haven't really been here for ages so I think it's more of a welcome back to, to me but if you are new to my channel then hello welcome I'd really appreciate if you like this video and subscribe and all that jazz because it's good stuff so today's video I'm going to be doing um, testing some new makeup products because I went shopping last week and I wanted to film this video the next day and I ended up getting a cold so you can probably hear it in my voice it is definitely still there but it's a lot better so I've been waiting for nearly a week now to test these products and I'm so excited I definitely spent way too much money or at least more money than I should have so let's begin We'll firstly start with Sephora because I got less there than, um, than at Mecca. Mecca is definitely my favourite. I don't know if it's just because some of my favourite brands are at Mecca and not Sephora. Or maybe it's just because it's sometimes cheaper for me anyway. I don't know. But I had to go to Sephora. This is actually the second time I've ever bought something in a Sephora store. And like the third time I've ever bought stuff from Sephora. So pretty excited um the first thing i got is something that i um went to go and get and that was eyebrow stuff from benefit i got the benefit bride try tryouts box um it's 42 dollars and it's got three minis they're moving around the box i'm sorry if that's loud so i bought this um this is the benefit goof proof brow pencil I bought this about a year ago and it's the mini this is just a mini size and it cost me like $20 and this mini has been my favorite eyebrow product I have ever used and it has honestly lasted me like a year but this one has the precisely my brow pencil the goof proof brow pencil and a 24 hour brow setter for $42 so three minis instead of anyway I got this one because I'm going to try out some two other new products and I get the mini that I know is already going to last me like a year or probably less. I don't know. So I got that. I talk a lot. My lips really dry. So the next thing I got from Sephora is the um, Zoeva Coco Blend Mini Palette. I love minis. I mean, I've already just pulled out two minis. Two things of minis. I think you can probably tell I like minis because it means I get to test out products for like half the price and then if I like it I'll go and get it and again or maybe, maybe even a mini. Um, I've been wanting to try a Zoeva palette for so long because they're considerably affordable like they're under $40 and this one was like 20 again it was like 21, 22, 23 or something and it's this cute little like travel size and the colors they're so pretty. I'll just take a little plastic off and these are the colors. So they're really, really stunning colours and I think it is a um, great little travel palette for me because it's like the three colours I mainly use and then I get like three shimmer colours and, and I'm so excited to use them because they just look so good. And then the last thing I got from Sephora is again minis. It is the Tarte Mini Lipstick Mermaid, what is it, High Performance Naturals mermaid kisses lipstick set so it's basically just four mini tart lipsticks these are the colors up the top here they're kind of like nudes and ready nudes and morby nudes and oh, they're pretty it it was like 26 dollars for four tart lipsticks so how often do you guys go through lipsticks because i personally have never finished a lipstick because i have lipsticks i use them and then I buy more and I use those and I've, I've never used a lipstick. So for me, getting minis is the smartest thing ever. So I had to get those for $26. Um, this is the biggest bag I've ever gotten from Mecca. Every time I've gone, I always get the little bags, which are like half this size. So this is how you know I've spent a lot of money. Um, the first thing I got <laughs> is the Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe, cucumber and green tea. This one is my favorite. Everyone raves about the rose one and I used the rose one for so long. This is like the sixth spray I've used. Um, I used the rose one heaps and then I tried this one. This one is, hand down, is hands down 
my favorite it smells the best it feels the best it's an issue it's so good um the next thing i got was just a hand cream the um soap and glory hand food hand cream this one is the sweet lime and vanilla scent and i kid you not it smells like a lime spider and if you don't know what that is that's like lime lemonade and you put ice cream in it and it smells just like that it smells so good but i need a new hand cream for my handbag so i got that next thing i got <laughs> this was actually kind of a mistake so i really needed a new lip balm so i wanted like a, a tube one of some sort and i couldn't and by the time i was like checking out a mecca i hadn't found one that i wanted so i just saw this one at like that end section and i grabbed it and it was a frank body lip tint and i thought it meant like lip a tinted lip balm but no it's just a lip tint and I broke the box um yeah so I mean it smells all right it smells like vanilla it does a little bit of a tint but it's not what I wanted next thing is another thing that I had to top up on it is the NARS um, radiant creamy concealer this is the best concealer i have ever used or found and i've tried so many concealers i really struggle to find concealers light enough for my skin because i'm quite pale i don't know if it's showing up too much on camera because i'm really red like my face is really red so it doesn't look as pale as i actually am you can probably tell like the redness compared to like my yellowness so i had to get a new one of those the next thing is not a lip product it is the Too Faced natural nudes lipstick when I saw these come out because they like come out in America and then it takes like months before it comes to Australia as soon as it came out in America I knew I was like I'm gonna buy a lipstick this is in the color pout about it and this has got like cocoa butter and stuff in it so it's supposed to be really moisturizing which is great because I have dry lips the last thing I got which I am probably the most excited about is the Too Faced Peach Perfect um, Comfort Matte Foundation. Now, I've been really struggling with foundations lately because even the ones I've bought that kind of match my skin, I'm finding they're really starting to go like cakey looking and dry looking, especially in winter. I already have really dry skin. I'm just really excited to try this and I love, I love Too Faced's packaging. I just, yeah, just, I'm so excited. So that's all I got um from sephora and mecca and now we're going to try it out and i've already got a damp beauty blender and i'm going to go in and try the foundation Swan. swan it looked pretty good on my hand but that really says nothing because my face is so much lighter but honestly if i find a foundation that looks good on my skin i don't care if i've got to blend it down my neck so i'm going to pump some on Maybe we'll just start with two. I'm um, going to. This smells really good. It's definitely medium coverage. Like, they're not saying full coverage, so I can't complain about that. I can definitely see a lot of my redness here coming out in a big patch. But um, I was told you can layer it. Like, the girl at Mecca said it's really... Um, quite easy to layer so maybe we'll finish the other half and um, come back I like the color I think it's a good color for me even though like I blended down here a little bit it tends to match quite well close up it's looking quite good especially on my forehead I find my forehead's really really dry and so that's where it goes the cakiest but it looks not bad and this was just with one application it's not drying super quick which I like because I want something that I can like work with before it sets I can definitely still see um, a whole bunch of like my redness and my pimples and stuff on my chin and my forehead but as I said I kind of wasn't looking for something as full coverage I just want something comfortable something I'm happy to like put on every day um, next I'm going to go in just a little bit of concealer. I'm going to use a NARS concealer. This is my one though, just because I've got a tiny little bit left. Um, I'm going to set my face. Um, I didn't buy any new setting things, so I'm just using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 
001 transparent because I am pale. I didn't buy any new cheek products, so I'm just going to quickly do my cheeks um, using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, the NARS Blush in Deep Throat, and the Becca Vanilla Quartz Highlighter, so I'm just going to do that. Alright, so now let's do eyebrows. So... I've used this before, so I feel like I'm going to try the other two products and we'll see how that goes first. Um, so this is the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the colour 3 by Benefit. And it's just like a really thin pencil. I need a spoolie. I really struggle with my brows, so... Like... They're going to look bad anyway. Don't blame the product. <laughs> they're just so different. And I really struggle to get them anywhere similar. Being a pencil, I'm just going to kind of like draw brush or hair stroke type things. I, because my brows are very um, different and I struggle with them, I definitely go for more of a natural brow look instead of like super defined. Just because if I made it super defined, it's just going to make it super obvious how bad they are. But I like this pencil so far you know what the that's just gonna have to be close enough i mean one's shorter and thicker than the other one but that'll do and then obviously we're going to be going in with the zoeva coco blend mini palette so i'm going to first set the eyes with the just the white color up here called bitter start then I'm going to go into Substitute for Love, which is that middle brown top colour. Um, I'm now going to go into Freshly Toasted, which is the darker colour at the end. I'm just going to pop a little bit um, in the corner and on my actual eyelid. I just kind of blend that up and out. Okay, I mean, it's not perfect, but... Again, not the eyeshadow's fault. I really like the pigmentation. Like, it's quite pigmented, so you got to be a little bit careful with it. But maybe I'll go with warm notes and a little bit of pure ganache in the middle. Yeah, let's do that. So, I didn't get a new mascara, but I recently bought the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara in a mini. Of course, it's a mini. Um, so, I'm going to try this. I've used it. I think once or twice before. It's a little awkward because the mini size, they really didn't think of the packaging for the mini. Lastly, we just have to decide on lips. So I don't know if I should try a Tarte one or a tooth or the Too Faced one. I think I might try, try one. And then this one looks nice. This is a bit nuder. This one's Marg's. I might try this one. That is a pretty nice colour. I don't feel like I've wasted my money on anything apart from the um, lip tint because I don't even know why I bought that. It's not what I was after. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was somewhat informative or somewhat helpful or maybe just somewhat entertaining for you. I'm sorry if it wasn't. It's quite possible. Um, I apologise if my voice was very annoying. It's annoying me. Because I hate sounding so nasally, but I can't help it. Um, yeah, so make sure to give this video a like if you like watching videos like this. So I know what type of things to create. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and more of my content. I am hoping to get back on the YouTube grind and upload a little bit more frequently. I have a bunch of videos planned at the moment. It's just getting the motivation to actually film them. Thank you so much for sticking around to this part of the video again. I hope you have a good one and I'll see you some other time. Bye!